let the mountains tremble and the seas rumble in the southeastern fringes of Ghana. If you give a duck a chance, it will prefer to fly like a kite. While if you uncover secrets of life, For that I hear the richest stories of war, every day from sun up to sundown, turn me into a gorilla. Well, this poem is called Umwaru Customs. When Eze, son of Okafo, dreamt of a falcon scratching his lower belly, no one thought of anyone until the night of his passing when he said the eyes of the bird were like those of Obika and the claws that had killed him were the fingers of the same man. Now this same man has brought shame upon his people. If your enos is too small, do not swallow a plum seed. Obika has given his manhood to the wife of another man. He has played the tricks of the bamboo bed in his own obi and the obi of a son of leopard. Not only does he wear the magic chain of the unrelenting white man, last Oye, he killed the sacred python, a taboo set forth by the father of Umwaru. No man can sit on the head of his father, and Ezidemeli, the priest of the deity, will stomach no hot water in the heart of an Omwaru dry season. So the sacred messengers arrest Obika and meet the world from his countless wives and his ignorant toddlers. They bury him deep into the clay soils, refusant like brown satin from rays of the sun. They bury him to neck level. They then place two pieces of yam upon his beating head to rouse the rhythms of the cycling vultures. When the vultures fell upon his deviant head, a distant church bell chorused the forlorn note. When they paint a bride with Kamut, it is not that her fathers did not found a beautiful daughter. It is the customs of Omwaru. It is the dictates of their fathers. This poem is situated in Ibo land and it describes excesses. It is a poem that reiterates the need to respect traditional norms and it also has a moralistic undertone. The main character of this um, poem has not been well treated by his very close friend and he died. He died with an undertone as though he was killed mystically by his friend that so many people thought uh, was very close to him and this has been symbolized with a bird, a falcon and then this very evil person goes to do something that is considered bad in every society around the world to sleep with another man's wife in his house and in the house of this man and this is sacrilegious in terms of evil tradition and then he goes as far as hurting a god and therefore it is a creep that is supposed to die because he's gone against all the norms of society. He is buried deep into the soil and two pieces of yam are placed upon his head for the cycling vultures when he must have left this world. So the poem in a way depicts tradition that existed in Ibo land and many parts of Africa as well as the faith that awaits someone who does not follow in true tradition the valuable aspects of society to love your neighbor, to love your friend, to
return the love of your friend, the honor and respect the wife of another man. So this poem, in a way, is trying to bring us back to that Africa that sanctioned excesses of man. I hope you enjoyed it. The mountains tremble and the seas rumble in the southeastern fringes of Ghana. If you give a duck a chance, it will prefer to fly like a kite. While if you uncover secrets of life, For that, I hear the wretched stories of wars. Every day from sunup to sundown, turn me into a gorilla.